All right, we have to talk about uh, so many things. One being the obviously the weekend. It's football time. Finally, yeah. back season opener. A lot of people expecting to be able to tailgate without a little bit of rain. Yeah, well, it's indoors grill. a dome, but still, know, so it's not the go tailgate part is not right. That's out clearly there. someone <laughs> hasn't been to a tailgate. <laughs> I have been to a tailgate. invite her. Yeah, yes. Oh, OK, in that case, invite me. I've never been. So to it's <laughs> Tweet at her. <laughs> well, I mean, inside the dome, it's obviously going to be electric, but hopefully not out the dome exactly. because that means there's going to be some lightning. Uh, I think you're going to be good for tailgating, though, but some rain chances will increase each afternoon. Yeah, we are going to see that chance for rain, so just keep that in mind as you have outdoor plans. I do expect the best chance for rain to be early next week as a frontal boundary gets closer to the area. So hit or miss over the weekend, just keep that in mind. And a very active tropics. The Atlantic has several storms that we need to watch. Here's all four of them here. One is just an area 20% chance for tropical development over the next three to five days right there close toward the eastern seaboard. What just got released with the 10 o'clock advisory, a new tropical storm. Helene just right off the coast of Africa. Now with this tropical storm, it is forecast to go across the Cabo Verde Islands and then gradually make a turn toward the north. So right now it poses no threat to the U.S. It is forecast to become a hurricane. Tropical storm Florence, however, is going to continue a track toward the west northwest and then gradually make a turn toward the north. The big question is when is it going to make that turn to the north? Look how big the cone is, but areas all along the east coast are definitely going to want to pay attention to this. It's forecast to become a major category four hurricane as we go toward the middle part of next week. And then we have tropical depression nine, which is kind of moving stationary. It's not really moving at all, but once it gets its act together and moves toward the west, it's forecast to strengthen and gradually become a category two hurricane and then a lot of models taking it into the Caribbean. So we now have Helene and Isaac is next on the list and tropical depression nine will likely become Isaac as we get into Saturday. So here's Florence. Here's tropical depression nine. These are the two that we need to pay attention to because they pose impacts to the US for Florence. It's going to be along the East Coast, not a threat to Southeast Louisiana but it's still something that we want to watch. Tropical Depression 9, as it makes its way into the Caribbean, will be watching for any kind of turn that may take it into the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, that is not what's in the forecast. It's just something that we're going to have to pay attention to because notice this is next Saturday. So we've got eight days before this is even knocking on the door of the Caribbean, but just wanted to give you that update. And of course, we'll continue to watch this over the week ahead. Conditions are quiet for us tonight, looking pretty good. A partly cloudy sky had some rainfall earlier, but that has come to an end. You can see toward the north. Now the remnants of Gordon still bringing a lot of rainfall across the central plains and a frontal boundary stalled may actually help to keep rain chances in our forecast going into next week. So notice starting out good for your Saturday morning as we heat up into the afternoon, some isolated showers or thunderstorm continuing into the evening, and it looks like for parts of the South Shore, North Shore and coastal Mississippi may be pretty good. Same thing for Sunday. We'll see that daytime heating leading to some rain and storms. So again, for Sunday tailgating for the Saints, I think you're looking pretty good. Some rain chances though around kickoff rain chance about a 40%. But look at Monday and Tuesday, higher rain chances through Wednesday with drier conditions for the rest of the week.